Build Aid Media, powered by builders and supported by Mix 93.8 FM and SA Garden and Home, are proud to bring you this homeowner workshop series. Throughout this series, we will be showcasing a wide variety of industry specialists to ensure a positive building experience. In this episode, Natasha Morley from Gauteng Moldings discusses the benefits of proper planning your skirtings, cornices and mouldings. Your host is Graham Alexander from Build Aid Media. Natasha Morley, now your, your product, a product called Mouldings, a bit like Ironmongery, you go, sorry, what's Mouldings? But everything does have a definition and the building industry has a language and it's best to try and stick to that language. But mouldings, um, as the slides show, it's your cornices, the skirting at the bottom of the um, wall, the beadings around the doors, and so on. I was in a beautiful home in Durban two weeks ago, um, one of those superb homes with architraves and all the, the joinery and staircases and so on, and asked that question that I asked earlier, why don't we do this anymore? Yes, some of it is pretty expensive. But generally, why don't the door frames and that look in it? It's because no one thought about it. If you're working with an architect and this pops up, you go, well, is this in my three million? Yeah, we've allowed for this and this, but maybe we're thinking about it. Skirting is thought about after the painting. Wow, now what are we going to do? Homeowner hasn't even got a proper quote, probably hasn't even got a contract. What's the contractor going to say? He's going to say, no, I've got, obviously you've got to have skirting. I've got 70 mil skirting, no quadrant. That's what I priced. You can't argue with it. It's not documented. So, Natasha, thank you for coming to chat to us. Pleasure. Thank you. Um, what, are your, what are your moldings mainly made of? What, are, what, what is the, the material? There's a product called Superwood, also known as MDF. And then your natural wood, which is Maranti, which is the most cost effective. You can stain it, you can paint it. And then obviously your exotics. Um, and then I can go further, you also get your polyurethane products, um, mostly imported. But yeah, okay. mainly the, the wood products, yes. And it's pretty endless. You know, you must have hundreds of different... 7,000 profiles. 7,000 profiles. Skirting profiles. <laughs> And they're from big skirtings down to small skirtings um, and so on. So are all your mouldings then made to order? Yes. Um, we've got a factory in Industria. And um, we try and, you know, obviously if you go with a standard skirting, it is more cost effective. As soon as you start matching, which we do as well, um, we require clients to bring in a sample um, nine out of ten, we can match your profile, um, and yeah, obviously we've got to manufacture it. I had an experience with you, your company personally. We had a, a skirting that I thought I'm never ever going to match this. You guys, you guys got it right because a bit of water had got into the yeah. to the one um, yeah. section. And you guys also have a, a showroom in Kaya Sands, yes. and you also have a d display outside of just some of the products. Yes. Let's run through the common ones. Our skirtings, you know, you sometimes assume, you go, oh, we've got 100 mil skirting. Not everybody understands what you're saying and how many kinds there are. Yeah. And yeah. I think um, we talk about beautiful homes. That home on the slide might not be everybody's taste, but it is beautiful. Um, and there's an idea of skirtings just behind the dog. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's, that's what a skirting is. Yes, that's okay. a skirting. It goes along the bottom, bottom of, of, your the, floor. of yeah. the wall. Obviously, you know, you look at that and you think it's a big skirting. It costs a lot of money. Um, you've got so many different options and so many different types of wood that that shouldn't scare you. Um, you know, and it, you follow through. You can do your architraves um, and we're there to guide you, um, yeah. you know. Let's have a look at architraves just so we understand. And maybe I'll have a go at it first, Natasha. If I get it wrong, you can, okay. you can <laughs> correct me, okay? Um, typically on a, what I would call an old-fashioned door, it wouldn't have a door frame. It would have what's called a door jam or a door lining. And all it means is the frame is the same thickness of the wall. Oh, yeah. But where it meets or comes to the outside of the wall, it's, it's quite, it doesn't look very good. 
So you would put an architrave. If, as right. you see on that, that door there. And so at the, what is that block at the bottom of the frame? That is called a plinth block or a base block. Um, you use it in two, two different ways. I'm going to say it, if you've got a shady fitter that doesn't know how to cut your 45s, he puts a plinth block because it meets where your skirting and your architrave meets. It gives you clean lines and it's easy to fit. Where if you have a good fitter, um, you know, he can cut your 45s. I've actually got samples outside to show you the different... Um, yeah. But it's basically where your, your architrave and your skirting meet. It, it's a little feature by itself. Um, okay. Balustrades. And it's wonderful to see that there are manufacturers that you can still get balustrades like this. Now, are all these pieces made in your factory and then a joiner carpenter puts it together on site? Yes, yeah. We, we manuf we've got three types of, of balustrades. Um, depending on your, your preference, um, modern and classic and that type of thing. Um, but yeah, it gets installed on site because um, we make up components because we can't fit a whole balustrade because you need half posts and full posts. And But yeah, it gets installed on site. But we manufacture to your standards. Yeah. We took... 50 projects two years ago to research how much information is on the drawing and how much isn't. And that's where we came up with that fact that 60% is missing. Everything we're talking to Natasha about, everything was not on those 50 drawings. There were no details on the balustrade, nothing about skirtings, nothing about architraves, um, let alone a dado rail, which is, um, Natasha, that piece of molding above the the tiles. Mm. So these things don't happen in our homes because they are forgotten. They are not talked about. This is interesting now, Natasha, because we had a bit of fun. This is to indicate corners. Most people know it's, it's up against the ceiling where the wall meets the ceiling. I think that shows that you can get so, some really nice looking yes, corners. Yeah. Um, and you make it out of polystyrene and different Spices. products. Yeah. But what we played around with was, Natasha, how much is that, that cornice per meter? Okay, judging by that one, it's quite a big cornice. Obviously, you get different sizes. That one is probably, I would say, about 50 rand a meter. Okay, that's just the material. That's just the material. Okay. That's an imported cornice. Then you get that's local cornices, which reduces again, and they look exactly the same. Okay, let's use the expensive one. Okay. How much is that skirting, which is similar to our first picture? More or less. Okay, it depends if it's Marantz or Superwood. Let's say it's Superwood, because they're going to paint it. I would say it. about 60 rand a meter. Okay. Yeah. So let's... <laughs> Even less. So let's say it's 50 yeah. and so it's 100 yeah. rand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And that room is a big dining room. My guess is it's five meters long. Yes. And we go down that passage, they say it's another five, so that's 10 and come back for, say, so what we're looking at there, say 15 meters, 1,500 rand to get that. Now double it for the labor. It's more or less double. So we're looking at 3,000 rand. And then those panels there, they're actually not panels. You put a molding glued onto the yes. surface yes. to look like a panel. How much is that molding? It's called a wainscoting. Oh, uh, a wainscoting. Wains okay, coating. cool. <laughs> How much is also, that? Also, super wood, very cheap. Um, sure, one panel like that, probably about two, three hundred rand. Okay, so what did yeah. we say it was the other stuff was? 15, the cost? Three thousand. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's say, four hundred. Call it another two thousand. Yeah. So we're talking about five thousand making that room spectacular. Mm. We make the mistake of saying finishers are going to break the budget. Of course they can if you go overboard. But if they planned for, in these living areas, we're just looking at a space of this living area. So make it five times bigger. It's 15 grand. Remember, half of it you would have had to put there anyway, the cheap stuff. So if we think about it, we can afford it. Right, on to windowsills. Um, in our research of those 50 plans, not one said what the windowsill was, inside or out. It has to say it's a sill outside by regulation. Yeah. You've got to say it's a sill. You don't have to say what it is. Yes. 
Um, do you have moldings on all sides of that? Well, sorry, not moldings, it's, well, it's been molded. Yeah, it's a profiled. A profile. Profiled windowsill. <laughs> yeah. So you could get it square. We can, we or... can have it profiled one f on the front, three sides. Your reveal gets cut out at the back to fit into your opening. We do all that as well. Yeah. Does it cost a lot more to have it? Not a lot more. No. Okay. Obviously, you get, if you buy full lengths and your fitter cuts on site and he fits and he cuts the reveals out, it's a lot cheaper where we have to physically measure each window, um, you know, and profile three sides because it's all handmade. So okay. it does cost a little bit more. Yeah. Great. So that's a very short heads up, not only about mouldings, but also shutters and skylights. We could spend a week talking about it. But it's just saying, you know, these things, we can use them. We can have them in our homes. Thank you for joining us. If you would like to watch any more of the workshops in the Homeowner Series, follow the BuildAid YouTube channel or visit our website, buildaid.co.za, where you can find a full range of our product offering. To book your seat at our next workshop, visit caxtonevents.co.za. Don't forget to tune into Mix 93.8 FM Wednesday evenings from 6pm to 7pm to listen to the Bull Day Show.